Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to more Tales of Arise. Let's continue. Can you even see out of that thing? Like, at all? Of course I can. How else do you think I manage to avoid tripping everywhere I go? What is that thing anyway? It doesn't look like anything Dan and I've ever seen. Beats me. I don't remember anything about my past. When I came to, I was already wearing it. If I could get it off, I would. Damn thing makes it hard to eat. I can't scratch my face when it itches. It's the worst. Honestly, I'm just impressed you've managed to survive this long looking like that. I'm sure you attract attention wherever you go. Most of the other Danans don't pay it any mind. It's in everyone's best interest to just keep their heads down, focus on their work, and pretend they don't notice. What about the Renan soldiers? Didn't they notice? The guards? They're more the kill first, ask questions later type. Be in the wrong place or step out of line and you're dead. Mask or no mask. That said, as long as you keep your head down and don't cause trouble, they mostly ignore you. Honestly, sometimes they don't look all that keen to stir up trouble themselves. A friend of mine said it's because if they kill us without a good reason, it could delay the work and put them behind schedule. At that point, it'd be their necks on the line. You should know more about all that than me, though, right? I don't serve any of the lords. But I see what you mean. After three centuries of run and rule without much upheaval, it's possible the soldiers might be losing their edge. All this trouble we've caused might be the first excitement they've had in a while. Well, I don't plan on getting killed for their amusement. So that was the new way they handle the, uh, I guess the skits. Honestly, I know some people had their issues with the way skits are handled in this game versus how they're handled in other games. I kind of like them, frankly. I like the more, I like the more book aesthetic. They look really nice. They're stylized. And I think stylized is always a good option when you can go for it. Glad to see you made it. I heard you managed to escape, but I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. Where are the others? They're waiting for us up ahead. Come on. The Master Core. He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Master!
You okay? Your arms! <laughs> oh, yeah. How about that? Guess it's just as well I can't feel it, huh? You're not in agony? Wait, are you serious? Hold still. Huh? It's one of my healing arts. A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. I'm not about to go back all that way alone. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? Sorry. You're coming with us. In that case, there's one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place, or would want to. The Blazing Sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. No, maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Your wound. That soldier nailed you pretty good. Not to mention those flames bursting from you. They only hit my master core, so I'll be fine. And the flames weren't even hot. That's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. Honestly, I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. It's ironic. I have no problem hurting anyone who touches me. But as soon as I try to wield that sword, it's me who gets hurt. Do you wish you were impervious to pain, too? You realize you could burn your fingers off without even noticing, right? So what? All I need right now is power. And up until now, I haven't come across anything stronger than that blazing sword the whole time I've been doing this. You really don't care what happens to you as long as you get what you're after, do you? Don't talk like you know me. Uh. <sighs> You... <sighs> you're right. I don't get you. I don't get why you're so quick to throw it all away. Not when us slaves have never had a choice in whether we lived or died. <sighs> I have befriended Xion. Zephyr has joined up with your party. So Xion is special. She has a gun. I mean, what more do you need? She has a gun and she can heal people. So we're just going to leave it at that for now. CP. Arts with healing and support effects consume cure points in addition to AG. CP is shared across the party and can be restored with items or by staying in an inn or campground. It can be raised by leveling up or finding specific items. Alright. Let's get going. Yo, that was that was actually eerily quick. I'm used to like the PS4 load times. That was pretty fast, man. Oh shit. Ganymede Castle, stronghold of Lord Balseth, self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, all right. And next to it are the Gates of Fire. Take a good long look while you still can. 
That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go. All right, then. Time to get going. Yo. Yo, the visuals are fucking insanity. I, oh, like, I've played a bit of this game, and I will tell you, man, some of the visuals in this game are absolutely breathtaking. Tails leveled up with this game. Like, hardcore, they leveled up. If you get close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. Let them. Changing control during combat. Press that button while in the menu to change your character's control mode. Semi-auto moves around in attack mode. Full uh, full ma manual is full control, and auto fights based on set strategy. Semi-auto is designed for players who only wish to casually dabble in combat. Meanwhile, manual is for those seeking full control. All right, good enough for me. Thank you. Not my best fight. Definitely not my... Definitely not my best showing. But, uh... As I play more, I'll, uh... I'll get reaccustomed. Don't fight any enemies you can otherwise avoid, alright? Makes sense. If we try to take them all on, there'll be no end in sight. You sure won't hear me complaining. Oh, don't get comfortable. Don't worry. I'm someone who will fight everything imaginable. Believe me, that's just how I get down. Especially in this game. I sense a strange power from it. We should gather as many as we can find. The demo is a great example of just something you could just turn on and just kill stuff in, and I fucking love it. I legitimately still download I downloaded the demo so often just because I wanted to be able to engage in combat and just fight stuff. It's so good. Tales games. Seems you found something good. Supplies like that are valuable. Never overlook them. Got it. I'll remember that. I mean, they say all that, but I'm still gonna fight it. I don't care. We're still gonna fight it. Don't get careless. Don't tell me. It's over. Ah! Oh. I'll bring you back from death's abyss. Circle and bring them down. There we go. Yeah, okay. See, I was worried he was like overly powerful. No, he just he just got the better of me on that first hit. That was that was absurd. I I fucked up. I really probably shouldn't be trying to be doing all this goofy shit until I actually have moves. Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. But I barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. Camping out. Resting at a campground will restore your HP and CP while resting. You can also watch skits and cutscenes that you've previously watched. Normally, we should take turns standing guard. But this first time, I'll watch over things, so you two can rest easy. Zephyr, why aren't you concerned about who I am? You feeling left out, son? No, it's not that. But... You said you wanted to fight so that you can live a free man. At this point, that's all that matters. Even if it somehow turned out you were a Renin, it wouldn't be such a big deal. A Renin? Until we know who you are, we can't rule anything out. Besides, we've already got Xion with us. At this point, what's one more Renin as long as they're on our side? 
So you don't see every Renan as an enemy? Our goal isn't to hunt down and kill all Renans. We only arm ourselves as much as we need to, to set ourselves free. If you can believe it, not every Danon agrees with what we're doing either. Are you saying we have enemies among the Danons? Uh, not quite. They're just not up for rebelling, per se. The thing you have to remember is that everyone has their own path to walk. I'm not sure I understand. That's okay. Just focus on what we have to do right now. However, the time will come when you'll need to decide what to do for yourself. How come you don't have a scar on your hand? A scar? What do you mean? The Crimson Crows all tore off their own spirit course, right? But your hand doesn't show any signs of ever having a core like theirs. Why not? I... don't know. I don't remember anything about myself from before Doc found me. Seriously? You have that mask, you don't feel any pain, and you just happen to know how to fight with a sword? No way. You must remember something. I'm not lying if that's what you think. Believe me, I wish I knew who the hell I am. But I don't. It's funny how I didn't have any time for soul-searching while digging up rocks in a mine. Still. Are you saying you've told us everything about yourself? Zephyr? It's bad manners to pry when you've got plenty to hide yourself. <clears throat> You're not gonna ask me about my past, too? Only when I think it's necessary. You're a real man of mystery, I'll admit. That said, I'm not one to dig around in someone's business just out of curiosity. If you remember something and feel like sharing, you're free to do so. For now, I think that's good enough. Right. Thank you. So, this whole you not feeling pain thing, is that for real? Why would I lie about it? And why would you care anyway? No, it's just... you know, I can't imagine what it's like, that's all. As a slave, I'd say it has its advantages and disadvantages. Oh? On the upside, when Ren and soldiers push me around, I hardly flinch. The downside's that I get injured without even noticing. Which means I could be knocking on death's door and not even realize it. Really? Sure. I may be numb to pain, but that doesn't make me immortal or anything. Still, I wouldn't have noticed any of this if someone hadn't pointed it out to me. If not for my fellow slaves, I'd be long dead, lying in a ditch somewhere. A Master Corps, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me, you ever wonder why we Danons are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. Then don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. 
five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan Motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the master cores are the receptacles in which the lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time? Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Corps? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Corps' astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Corps to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the lords. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... <laughs> Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? We have another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. <sighs> Cut it out. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? I know I already asked you this, but are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? <sighs> What's so hard to understand? I'm Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. Besides, I'm from Lenigus. Trust me. Wherever you were before you lost your memory, we've never crossed paths. Lenigus? You mean the same Lenigus that's up in the sky? I've heard it called the Renan's Castle, but I never imagined people actually lived up there. Well then, where did you think we all lived? Didn't you see the Renan Lords descend for the crown contest? And how long ago was that? Well, the current contest started seven years ago, so... Then I wouldn't remember. Just how far back do you remember? About a year, give or take. That's how long ago Doc found me. One year. Then no. I'm sorry, but there really is no way we could have met. Guess not. Alright, let's continue. We don't have too much longer before I have to, before I'm gonna end this episode. But you know, we could probably get to Uzabek. I don't see why I can't try. It's worth a shot. Out. Sweetheart, nobody enjoys camping out. 
I mean, I'm sure someone enjoys it, but most people don't, like, enjoy it. It's not really an enjoyable situation. You eat this. Whenever you find some, make sure to grab it. It's edible, huh? Good to know. Definitely. Nice. Always is nice when they let you do stuff like this, like jump down somewhere that What's you don't think you should be able to. It'd be just as easy for them to be like, you can't jump down, you have to take a different path to get down there. No, the game's like, oh, fuck yeah, you could jump down there. And fuck, dude, you're not gonna take fall damage from it. I appreciate it. It's little design things like that I really do come to appreciate. But you have to kind of take those things into consideration once you give people the ability to jump in your video game. Jumping is not something you should give to your players lightly, because they will find ways to abuse it. Alright. That is one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. So one of my core goals in this playthrough is to primarily beat as many of these type of monsters as possible. Uh, if not, beat them all. I'm gonna, my goal is to beat them as soon as possible, so as early as I can manage. Now some of them that might be more doable than others, and some of them it might just We've be straight out impossible without coming back later. But I'm still going to try. It's still something I'd like to try to accomplish. Whether or not I can, totally different story. Normally I don't pick on the weak. Alright. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When you, I'm not gonna lie. When you get the uh, sure the feeling for combos this. in this game, it feels so good. Nice. That's an unusual bird. It's an owl. They're often used as a symbol to represent ancient Dana. Kill these guys while we're at it. Oh, really? Dick. Good shit. That was almost too easy. I said almost. Yeah, it's almost too easy. Not too easy, though. There we go. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of collecting in this game because there's so many systems in this game I want to engage with. And that's the thing about Tales games, is that they give you a bunch of systems, and, like, it's up to you to engage with them. And I kind of dig it for that, man. I like it when games give me all these options to engage with, and it's up to me to decide whether or not I engage with them. Versus other games I've played that give you a bunch of systems and come just short of beating you over the head with them and telling you you have to engage with them. Just saying, choice is nice. Actual choice. I appreciate it. No choice. Don't go charging off like that. Okay. Nice. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Don't gotta tell me twice. So, as always, I want to talk about a couple of little things about this game that you might not necessarily pick up on immediately. 
So I haven't been doing it in battle, but your CP isn't something that you should always rely on, especially in certain situations in battle where it might just be better, you might just be better suited to just using an item, right? CP is great, don't get me wrong, but this is, you You will have access to cash. You could buy items. So I, uh, I don't know, my experience has been to like not just rely on that because it's not always a bright idea. So here's your art screen where you can assign arts to the three separate buttons. Those arts, uh, some of those arts will actually translate into different kinds of attacks for your aerial attack. So keep that in mind when you're playing. It's some of them are going to translate differently. And then we have strategy for what you can set for character. You can set your characters depending on how you want to use them. Fight with my I currently set the fight with moderation, so can't really go wrong there. So we have some outfits. Doggo tail. Nice. Not gonna mess with that at the moment. And I think that's it for now. Uh, we'll go in. I'll at least go into town. Okay, people, this is it. Ools are back. No sign of any Renan guardsmen. The Renans aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Looks like we needn't have worried. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here, and I will see you all next time. We'll explore Uzbek and continue the story. Until then, guys, stay tuned for more Tales of Arise.